हेलो गाइस आई वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल द मेडिको पीडिया सो टुडे वी गोना टॉक अबाउट द एक्यूट इन्फ्लामेशन एंड इन एक्यूट इन्फ्लामेशन वी गोना टॉक अबाउट इट्स फर्स्ट इट्स डेफिनेशन देन वी गोना टॉक अबाउट इट्स वी गोना गोना टॉक अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ इन्फ्लामेशन इन्फ्लामेशन देन वी गोना टॉक अबाउट द features of acute inflammation then we going to talk about the causes of the acute inflammation and afterwards we going to talk about its events in events we going to talk about its vascular events and its cellular events so this is our today's topic the acute inflammation in which we going to talk about definition types of inflammation its features causes and its events in events we going to talk about vascular events and the uh, uh, cellular events so guys now we going to talk about the definition of the inflammation so here i'm going to talk about the definition so it is just the vascular response uh, vascularized tissue response to the site of injury so it is the vascularized tissue responded to the site of injury site of injury site response right so i'll explain it in a elaborative way so suppose this is our blood vessel and here our tissue or here some uh, it is our like tissue which is invaded by some organism like uh, bacteria or some burns or injury or uh, viruses like it is some like virus or any parasitic infection so what happens so it is according to the def i have told the vascular vascularized tissue uh, response to the site of injury vascularized tissue response to the site of the injury so the definition is the the local response of the living vascularized tissue to the injury means it is a localized in acute it is localized vascular response to the site of injury this is all about the definition of the of the acute inflammation so what happens during the acute inflammation it is sometimes associated with associated with systemic manifestations systemic manifestations like systemic manifestations like fever and pain it occurs not always but yeah sometimes it does or like mo most of the times it does so this is all about the definition because definition always comprises of like almost one mark in five marks or in 10 marks question so the definition is the vascularized response to the site of injury how come because see uh, this uh, blood vessel is con consisting of uh, wbcs leuco uh, leukocytes right antibodies it will be containing so see here it is the antibodies and here is the uh, wbcs right so these wbcs will come come out the, at the site of injury in the cellular events that i'll be discussing in later so everything uh, occur inside the acute and the chronic inflammation is almost same with some differences so i'll be discussing the difference between difference between acute and chronic inflammation acute and chronic inflammation so guys it is very important to know the difference between the acute inflammation and the chronic inflammation because sometimes it comes in five marks question and it is really very important to know the difference between acute inflammation and the chronic inflammation as a physician also so what is the so see we can uh, like uh, what are the features we have to know so if we, we if we going to know on which features there is some differences between acute and, and chronic so we can figure it out very easily so there is a, some mnemonic i am discussing here so according to that mnemonic you can easily figure out the differences between the acute and chronic inflammation so the mnemonic is disco cell disco and cell so, right it is the mnemonic so i am writing the abbreviation and the uh, abbreviation form and it's definite uh, the thing so uh d i s c o and cell right so here d stands for the duration duration i stands for the injury injury type right injury type injury type to the tissue or injury type to tissue and uh, fibrosis as it stands for the signs of the acute uh, and uh, sign of so sign of the acute and the chronic inflammation so signs c stands for the characteristics characteristic features between the two and o stands for the onset and cell st stands for the predominant cell 
predominant cell. So here it is the pneumonia disco cell. Means D stands for the duration, I stands for the injury type to the tissue, S stands for the sign of various acute or chronic inflammation, S stands for the sign, and C stands for the characteristic of various inflammation, O stands for the onset, and C cell stands for the which, uh, which is the predominant cell present in both type of the inflammation. So yeah, so. Now I'm gonna just to ask you, you, you just I'm gonna write and uh, before I write you have to guess it. But I'm gonna write here. So the first I'm gonna write about the uh yeah duration. So obviously if it is acute then it is of shorter duration, right? Shorter duration. Shorter duration like uh, it occurs between uh, like after the uh, like uh, within hours to hours to like one day, right? Like or few days, right? Hours to few days. While the chronic inf uh, chronic inflammation, it is you know it is uh, occur just after the, after the acute inflammation, so it follows the as it follows the as it follows the acute inflammation, acute inflammation. So what happen? It gonna take some longer time. Like it will take some few days to months even, few days to weeks or month, weeks and months. Right. Hum. So now the types, uh, the type of injury to the tissue. So the here uh, in acute, the injury type is very mild. And self-limiting means it do not progress. It do not progress to other organs. Right. But here it is not mild in chronic. It is severe and it can progress to other organs as well. Progressive. Right. Here, if we see the signs, so see when there is any injury occurs, so acute inflammation if occurring, there is a like redness will be there or the swelling like little bit of edema will be there at the site of injury. So it is like uh, sign are like you know very prominent, but in chronic signs are not very prominent, so they are less prominent. The less prominent, right? And the characteristic feature between the acute and the chronic inflammation, so the very first characteristic feature in the acute and the chronic inflammation is that there is the in acute inflammation there is the exudation occur exudation means the exudation like you uh, know uh, exudation of pus cells uh, wbc cells plasma will be there associated with edema and but in chronic inflammation there occur two things first there can be the you know neovascularization just combo them so there will be the neovascularization or uh, we can call it like uh, proliferation of cells or sorry proliferation of blood vessel and the second thing it can occur the fibrosis fibrosis so in fibrosis what, what will be happen fibroblast fibroblast proliferation and can associate with the scar formation also scar formation necrosis of the tissue also will be there so yep onset so it is like you know acute inflammation is very early in the onset and it is rapid early and rapid so rapid like you know within minutes to hours and the chronic chronic as i have told it follows the acute inflammation so it takes times so it is not rapid it is slow rather and take days to weeks right and uh, the prominent cell in acute inflammation and chronic inflammation so here is only one one type of uh, only one type of prominent cell can be seen in the acute inflammation and that is the neutrophils only neutrophils only but in the chronic inflammation the prominent cell is like you know monocytes monocytes lymphocytes and macrophages ah. so all this is very important to know see guys so here i have discussed the differences between the acute inflammation and the chronic inflammation in the acute inflammation uh, sorry for uh, for the difference i have made the demonic disco cell so here all the characteristics features of both the inflammation have discussed so cd uh, d stands for the duration i stands for the injury type to the tissue fibrosis i stands for the sign c stands for the characteristic feature of two o insert o stands for the onset cell stands for the predominant cell so the so the duration of acute inflammation is very shorter so like you know like it is usually uh, like you know like last for it lasts two four hours and like few days like one day or two day but afterwards it will be you know um, followed by the chronic inflammation and the injury type here in acute inflammation injury 
uh, it is shorter rapid but you know injury is very mild but here it is uh, if the chronic inflammation can uh, will uh, will be occurring it will be like very severe and it will be progressive rather it is non progressive and the sign in the acute inflammation is like very prominent so you will be seeing like you know redness will be there heat will be there pain will be there and fever will be there Chron in chronic inflammation the signs are there but they are very less as compared to the acute inflammation the characteristic feature of the acute inflammation there is a exudation of plasma proteins exudation of fluid associated associated with edema and in chronic inflammation there will be the like proliferation of the blood vessels neovascularization and the fibrosis uh, in uh, fibrosis because of the proliferation of the fibroblastic cells and will be afterwards it will be ended up on the scar formation and maybe some colloids can be there yep and now we're going to see uh, see uh, over onset so as i have told it is very rapid so just after the in in infection or any like burn or you know any foreign subta substance when come across our body so it is like acute inflammation takes place like within minutes like you know within seconds within minutes and to within hours by while chronic inflammation it is like very slow in onset as it is occur after after the acute inflammation in most of the cases and the predominant cell in the acute inflammation is the one type only that is the neutrophils only which will be later replaced by the monocyte lymphocyte or macrophages in the terms of the chronic inflammation so this is all about the difference between the acute inflammation and the chronic inflammation